Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon and Pisces Rising weekly tarot and the normal reading for November, 2000, uh, November 5th to November 11th 2018 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards uh, I want to remind you once again guys that this is just a, a general reading for Pisces star sign and it was not your personal reading therefore uh, I will try here my best to uh, explain you the meanings of the cards and uh, their synergy in the spread but at the end it forces you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation now if you want me to do that for you that will be a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings so, um, going to the tarot, tarot spread first, now we have the usual four card spread <clears throat> and uh, the first card is to show us the topic for your week uh, Pisces and that is to be the uh, strength card. So that will be quite a, a week of a, a big temperament if I may say it that way. So it is very important that you are extremely patient because uh, this week the perseverance that you may uh, that you may hope for it will come through the patience that you can exert. Now of course you can rely on your uh, on your temper here but if but if so you have to be prepared for a lot of um, for a lot of issues. Well a, a lot of disputes and um, as well a lot of wrangles. What the strength card, uh, what the strength card points is that this week will not go without troubles, but these are going to be very ordinary and usual uh, predicaments that every kind of undertaking faces throughout its development. Nothing in this world, as an undertaking, goes without its uh, its pros and cons. And this week you are to face the cons of it. All right. So uh, what this card advises you here, Pisces is again to be very patient when you are coping with them. As a matter of fact, the strength card also uh, says that you are to be uh, more than usual vigorous here to jump and really resolve those predicaments knowing that their resolution is going to give you is going to take you one step closer, you know, to the uh, to the summit, <clears throat> if I may express myself that way, of your dreams. That being said, guys, on a practical level, this card here throughout the week points that you are to have very passionate experience in your personal life as a relationship, interactions, um, uh, dating as well, etc., etc., or in your... Um, <clears throat> Uh, in your uh, domestic life, which, if not faced with a huge amount of portion, uh, with a huge, with a huge portion, excuse me, of uh, of patience, is going to lead to a lot of temp, uh, with a lot of temper exerted from the both parties, and that, of course, is going to cause wrangles. Uh, and when we talk about career with uh, this card, it is likely that you are to find yourself eager, you know, to resolve issues to uh, kind of like settle down disagreements, to settle down as well predicaments, to resolve them, etc, etc, knowing that uh, as, you, as you do so, that is going to take you one step closer to the, uh, to the goal. And the core of the situation for it, that will be the, the Four of Swords. Wow, alright. So what we do have is that you already um, foresaw uh, that those predicaments are to be arise. Now the four of swords does represent the peace, yes, but also does not uh, does represent that there are problems beneath the surface that are waiting the time to uh, their time to immerse beneath. Most likely, I um, problems that have been left lingering in the past. I knew I and the people that are involved in, into those issues forgot about them, but they these issues have waited for their time to arise and now in this week they are rising up, but you are totally finding yourself prepared to take on them. The Four of Swords here points that you also you are you are to feel very confident with your performance next to the strength card of course because you um, basically deliberated upon it you know for example with a very faithful companion you kind of like run 
through every single possibility here, every single option available. I know you are to feel throughout this week very confident uh, regarding the strategy you are to exert to uh, overcome the daily predicaments, the daily routine, and to find yourself victorious at the end of the day. <clears throat> the next card that we do have, this is to show us the challenges that are causing predicaments and we do have the six of wands and if I don't know you better guys I would have said that the fame is going to be what is to be challenging for you so uh, how can I place it the challenge is to be the rewards that are coming in the challenge is to be the recognition that is coming in as well now this very well uh, look like the situation where people applaud you for uh, for what you have achieved here for overcoming the daily wrangles and you are acting like it was nothing you know it's kind of like it is something that you don't deserve any appreciation to something that you don't deserve uh, any any rewards for it you know it's kind of like uh, your boss for example calls you around and they say to you good job man I mean you you kind of deserve a raise and you say oh but it, it was nothing for me you know and actually you don't need to raise my salary something like it you know I mean I know that I sound stupid but it's just I I'm interpreting the cards and it is exactly what the cards are pointing at me you will have a difficulty here to accept the rewards uh, <clears throat> uh, which are to be offered to you either regarding career wise or either regarding relationship wise because you will have an extreme uh, a, a big amount of self-righteousness here and deep down within yourself you will know that you are yet to deserve those rewards that could be similar as for example two people were dating or kind of like hanging out with one another one of those people for example the the other one not you but the other one uh, kind of share uh, their eagerness for example to have sex with you but you are denying that person saying that you aren't ready for that or you just don't want to contribute at this very moment you know because you don't think that you deserve their attention etc etc something like this guys I can't really explain or rather I can't really give you uh, the accurate enough um, example here so I can make it to to make a lot of sense but yeah i mean you are to be coped with uh, the uh, daily predicaments and at the end of the day as soon as you are done with them you will you will kind of have the standpoint that you do have much more to achieve in order to deserve the reward that it is offered to you uh, the very grim interpretation of these cards here points that you will have no satisfaction of the job well done because you will deep down within yourself know that you can do much more than you are doing right now but again don't forget this combination here which uh, tells you that you can do just so much at that specific state and uh, you should not push yourself too hard you know because you have to persevere here through patience and if patience is what you do have then you are to become worthy for the rewards which are and the appreciation and the recognition which awaits you further into the into the future so this comes to the the uh, best possible uh, course of action or the guidance that Saro is offering to you and this is going to be the eight of wands you have to be very creative the eight of wands is a, a guidance here points that you can really exert brilliant strategies in your work and in your career uh, in your career excuse me and in your relationship as a matter of fact if we're talking about relationship life here this card points that should you be open-minded then there is no difference that cannot be settled down you know and there is no issue in between you and your partner or in between you and your suitor that cannot be taught, uh, talked over that cannot be worked out because this week here because you are patient enough and you are eager to resolve those issues standing on your part 
consciously deliberating upon them in the, in the recent past, knowing that they are to arise one way or another, you are finding yourself prepared, you know where exactly to push so uh, you can have a breakthrough and this card asks you to be very brilliant with us again very brilliant with your approach to do it swift to do it fast to do it exactly as the time dictates because this card here as well uh, tells us that you will have an exact opening to do so so take advantage of that and basically do not regret your actions but the very least here Pisces these cards are advising you to be rather brave and to be rather determined and, and eager you know to make progress throughout this week because progress it is what you're going to find and again uh, if this is regarding your career guys do not strain away from difficulties do not strain away and try to bypass predicaments that are involved in your projects here exactly through resolving those predicaments instead of trying to bypass them is how you are to make a, a severe progress so uh, that being said uh, we are going to the to the Lenormand card spread and uh, what the Lenormand card is to show us is a uh, event that you either should look for should look forward to or um, try to uh, try to avoid so let's cut them and let's see what we got uh, the first one this is going to be the child so the child points to innocence petite new beginning or a child then we do have mice and the mice points to uh, something is rotten or something is deteriorating and the last one this is going to be the clover here that we do have and the clover is about a small um, small amount of luck small benefits something negligible that it is contributing for your well-being but again again it is very petite so whatever that event is is going to have um, negligible close to to zero impact upon your manifestation here throughout the week and it could be a um uh, kind of like a uh, it's going to be more toward the negative side uh, side of the spectrum here uh, that could be a, a petite diminish of your luck all right uh, that could be a, a new beginning that will turn out to be not as bad uh, not as good as you think it is but by a small margin uh, margin excuse me all right or these cards simply could say if you do have a children that one of your child is going to cause you a, a small problems so that being said Pisces <clears throat> this was your weekly tarot and Lenormand reading uh, for the November uh, 5th to November 11th 2018 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and uh, again this was just a general reading for Pisces star sign and it was not your personal reading therefore uh, here I did my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and uh, they are synergy in the spread but at the end it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation now if you want me to do that for you that will be a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings Rat signing out now see you next time bye